For those looking to buy or sell Madden Ultimate Team Coins, check out the Mud Store. They have cheap prices, fast delivery, and great customer service. Use code TEXAS at checkout for a 10% discount. And for those that don't want to buy coins, check out their giveaway over on Twitter. The Mud Store will be giving away 1 million coins to 4 winners. That means 4 million coin giveaway to enter. Just retweet it. Follow them on Twitter. Link will be in the description. Yo, what's going on, It's your boy Tax is back over here on some much salary cap with some more gameplay for you guys. We are still on the grind to get the ultimate master Marcus Allen. And with the rewards list I saw for much 17 coming out, I need to get him soon. And I'll be having a video coming up later on tonight discussing the much 17 loyalty rewards you're getting. So stay tuned for that. But yo, it is insane over here with this mode. For some reason, Everybody's playing this now. I don't know if everybody's trying to get invited to the EA competition and maybe get a chance to win some money, but like everybody seems to be over here playing this mode and I'm running into a lot more guys that pretty much run the same plays. I don't know what play is called or what formation is out of. I just know, you know, rush three, blitz two linebackers. It's like cover three over the top, two yellows, and it comes through every single time. Like, it's crazy. I don't know what's going on right now. All these ebooks making an appearance with this mode. But if it gets even worse, I think I might have to take my talents back over to Madden head to head. Like, I think that might be the move because so far I'm not really feeling this mode, even though you do get better rewards, of course, obviously. I won four games. Most games I won is four. And I got like 7,000 coins for those games, plus four collectibles. And if I decide to quick sell those collectibles, that'll be an additional 6,000 coins. So 13K for four, four games. That's crazy good. And I like this mode. Or actually, it's like five, no, six games I lost to. But still, that's a lot of coins. And I really do like this mode a lot. It's just all the nonsense I'm a big fan of right now. Because even if you guys do get invited down to EA, like a lot of the top guys, again, of course, they still run the ebooks as well, but those guys are better than these guys that are running it that are just trying to get the elite tier status. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep grinding it out. We are on the season 15 and 12, which is not great, but I mean, three of those games I lost because I got kicked. So really, I should be like 18 and 9, but we still lost a bunch of games. This mode's kind of hard as you push one right there. And we do not recover because that's just my luck. Second and nine, our opponents drop back in the pocket, throwing perfect throw. He is using Bronze Logan Thomas. This dude's quarterback is worse than my entire offense. Like, this dude's quarterback is pretty bad. Logan Thomas last year for the Arizona Cardinals could not do anything. That team had a great defense, great offense. And when he was that quarterback, he was useless. And this guy decided, you know what? I'll make this guy my quarterback. And this dude's defense is out here balling out of control right now. Second and 10. Trying to get that guy open across the middle of the field. We get Travis Kelsey finally. Beat that dude's man coverage. And now we're on second and seven. Play action fake. Going right to the man, Jeff Janis. The, the man, the myth, the legend. The best receiver on my team right now. I need more of him. If I can run dupes, I run more of him because he constantly gets open and somehow we get the user pick on a screenplay. I thought I was behind this guy, but I wasn't. Strong power, we get some great blocking, and now we are up by seven. So we scored 14 points on answer, and our opponent has a respond. It's minute 37 left going into the half, and hopefully we get a stop because typically what I do with my defense, and they don't play that well. Like I'm noticing that. So for some reason, my opponent's defense is always play well as Logan Thomas gets some great yards, man. Like, if my opponent has a guy in a light blue, he plays his light blue. Now, if I got a guy in a light blue, my guy in a light blue, 17 yards out of the field. That's the Anthony Barr drops, user pick right there, throws a strong toss to the outside. Luckily for us, Todd Gurley gets stopped because Todd Gurley in this mode is kind of impossible to bring down. Third and nine, he's going deep, and please don't get caught on. Thank you. We got the pick, man. Still got 20 seconds left on the clock, so let's try to get a fill out of this drive, throwing to our half out of the backfield. He's diving early, trying to juke inside, ended up getting tackled. But we got three timeouts, so we don't got to worry about that. I know this season covered four, so let's run that cover for me right now, and we get our man Kelsey open, and he gets us in field goal range because Big Man has that 99 kick power. I think I might actually downgrade to the 97 kick power McManus just because he's cheaper with salary cap plus I don't really think I'll be taking that many field goals that length anyway like I feel like that's just a waste of salary cap right there so we might be downgrading I may even go lower than that like I like the kick power but I don't really see myself kicking that many like those length of field goals like those happen occasionally but I don't really kick those long field goals. So I think I might be able to get by with guys like 93 kick power. I'm just trying to find more ways to get my good players on the field as their opponent catches that streak and then takes a sack. So now second 19 once again. Yo, this dude's always aligned with trash. Logan Thomas gets sacked once again. This is one of the best games I have had when it comes to generating pressure. 
I played so many games as he's going deep again and we get the pick right there. But I played so many games and getting sacks are just tough. So I got to tweak some things down in the comment section. But let me know what players you guys use over here in draft champions to get pressure because my clowny bar setup is just not working man like some gangs they'll have two sacks and then pretty much for the most part they are just giving my opponent all the time in the world to throw these man beaters throw these cover four beaters and the reason why those plays work is if you have a lot of time in the pocket and it shouldn't work if I have guys that should get off the block to the quarterback. So down in the comment section below, list a couple players you guys use on your team. And I will definitely go ahead and use them. But we got the W right there, 17-7. to 7. We are on a roll. Not really. We suck over here in this mode, man. This is amazing, but this mode is much better playing than head-to-head, -head, yo. If this mode makes an appearance over Madden 17, I am going to be thoroughly happy. So right now we go from a four star silver to a five star, which is cool. So now we are still on the grind to Ultra Master and Elite status. I'll catch y'all the next one. Peace.